What is up, amazing and awesome people? I'm Kill Paris, and in this video, I'm going to show you the number one digital DJ secret uh, the secret to mashups, the secret to uh, just being a better producer, actually, in general, because this is a great tool. And before we even get into this, if you are someone who is thinking about making some shitty comment about how DJing with vinyl is the only way to DJ or using Serato is the only way to DJ, anything like that that is related. Just don't even waste your time because if you have time to comment and to hate because someone's using a different form of media that you're using, um, then the, you're probably not that good of a DJ anyways. The, the medium does not define the artist, okay? So just don't even waste your time. Um, I'm here to help. I'm not here to spread hate or anything. None of my videos are negative, so I don't know why you would you know, be negative to someone who's never been negative to you. That just doesn't make sense. But anyways, enough of my rant. I never rant, but yeah. So um, so the program we're talking about is Mixed and Key. This is what it looks like. You can get it from mixedandkey.com. It's $58. Totally, totally worth it. Um, if you don't already have Mixed and Key and you've never heard of this, just go buy it right now because you will not regret it. Um, so here's the program. All you have to do is drag your music in here. You do have to be connected to the internet for this, um, but then you hit analyze. Um, and actually, before you even do that, you should probably go into your preferences because we go into the preferences and you can set how it's going to rename um, your tracks, which you know some people don't want to rename, but I do because my entire library, my iTunes library, every single piece of music that I have, any remixes I have ever gotten, uh, or remix kits rather, have all been ran through Mix and Key. So what Mix and Key is, is it'll just rename all your songs by key and BPM. So it tells you the BPM and it tells you the key. Then what you can do is instead of just mixing from, you know, cause like when you're doing like house music, you're usually mixing at the same tempo and everything. Uh, but if you don't use mixed and key or you don't know the songs very well, you probably don't know what key they're in. And when you know what key they're in, then you can mix things that are in the same key and you can actually work your way around the circle of fifths throughout your DJ or live performance set, which will make everything more musical. Um, it's a lot easier to do dramatic climaxes uh, and everything will just sound better. So once you have all your tracks ran through mix and key, the way that I do it is you can actually just drag stuff straight out of here into... Uh, into Ableton, which is very handy. But the way that I do it, which this is 10A, but um, in my set, I have all my scenes assigned to each key. So I start at 1A or 2A, whatever, and then just move around the circle of fifths. So this is how I organize my live sets, just loops, anything, songs, arrange my key, and then you mix and key, everything sounds good. Uh, you don't have to worry if you're in the right key or not, and um, it'll just make everything sound better. So uh, hope this video was useful to you guys. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe. I've got a donate button down below if you want to give me some cash um, because uh, I buy new sunglasses like every other week. So I kind of do need money for that. Peace.